Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to always have free space on your iPhone. Now when purchasing a new iPhone, of course, one of the main things that you will look at is the storage on that iPhone, of course, alongside with things like the camera and also the battery. But of course, storage is the main one. That of course is the thing that will also change the price of a new phone. And it is really important, even though a lot of people always run out of storage on their iPhone and most of that due to doing the wrong things on their iPhone and not knowing how to manage the storage and what to do in order to get more free storage. So in this video, I will show you guys a few amazing tips and tricks that will help you always have free storage on your iPhone. Let's first take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, NordVPN, the best VPN solution for iPhone users with an easy to use interface that lets you quickly connect with one click or use the auto connect feature to connect automatically. Find servers near you for better speed or one far away for more content on more than 5,200 different servers in 60 different countries. You can run NordVPN in six different devices and of course it will support every major platform from Windows to Android, iOS, macOS, Linux, and even Android TV. And it has some amazing extra features like the double VPN for extra protection and the automatic kill switch which will block the device from accessing the web if the VPN connection accidentally drops. Unblock blocked websites and services in your country, stuff like maybe Netflix and of course find streaming platforms at much lower price rates and access platforms that are not available in your country. Go ahead, give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the video to get a two year plan with a huge gift. Of course, one of the main things that will take up storage on your iPhone are pictures and videos especially. Now, when you go to your iPhone and you go to your settings, you will have here the camera settings and here we have the very important ones record video. If you go there, you will see what I have here. I have 1080p at 60 frames per second and that's what I use. I can use of course even 4K 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. That will take a ton of storage on my iPhone. Now all the time I'm watching these videos on my iPhone, I don't like watch them on a 4K TV so I don't actually need to record these videos on 4k and even if you're just like recording videos to share on your social media no need to record them in 4k that will take a ton of space so make sure you go ahead and choose which format to use when recording videos that's really important you can see right here the one i'm using 1080p 60 frames per second it will take you can see right here it says 175 megabytes per minute per minute of video but if you go ahead and shoot that on 4K, that will be 400 megabytes. So with like two and a half minutes of video, you will take up a gig on your iPhone. So always make sure to go ahead and check these settings when using your iPhone. Next up, we're moving to the notes settings. Now on your notes, you know that you can actually scan documents, take pictures and even videos that you save within notes. But did you know that those will also be saved on your photos app so you will have basically duplicates of videos pictures and scans that you have done on the notes app so go to settings and go right here to the notes settings and make sure you have disabled this media saved photos so you don't have duplicates of your photos and videos that you took using the notes app now when using siri on your iphone you know that there are different voices you can use now sometimes just trying out different voices it might just be fun or something like that, but those voices will be actually downloaded to your device. Now you can find those by going to accessibility and then go right here to spoken content and go to voices. Here we'll find all kinds of different voices for every language. So if we go to English right here, you can see all the voices that I have downloaded here. So you can see one voice right here that I have downloaded previously and then deleted from my device. I can go ahead and download it right now. It's 400 megabytes. So if you just go to one of these, you will be able to actually tap the edit button and delete them. You can see 500 and 500 as well. So that's one gig. You will have here all kinds of different voices you have downloaded to your device and you will see they take up a lot of space. So make sure you go ahead, check these out and then delete the ones that you don't use. 
Another thing that will take a lot of space on your iPhone are app caches. Now these are basically cached files from apps that apps use, but they will pile up there and they will be like a ton. You can see right here we have Spotify and this is one of the apps that allows you to clear the cache from the settings of the app. And you can see right here the cached files are 1.7 gigs only for Spotify. So this is pretty easy. You tap right here and you clear the cache of this app and remove those files and you have more free storage. But most apps won't allow you to actually do that from the app. Now the way to do that is by going to settings, go to iPhone storage, and this is basically like an alternative to that, but it will also work. So what you need to do here is just go ahead and go to the storage and you will see a list of the apps that you have downloaded to your device. Now you will notice that most apps will be bigger the size of the cache files will be way bigger than the size of the app itself now by going here let's just wait for the list to load right here you can see all the apps that i have so you can see in this case i have twitter one gig and that's the app size you can see that's like seven times more on cache files now the way this you can work with this is actually delete the app and reinstall it again on your device because there's no actual way to clear the cache the way you can do this is just delete the app and reinstall it again and the files of course will be gone they will still pile up with time but after like a few weeks maybe even months you can do the same procedure again if you use iMessage a lot, then iMessage will take a lot of space as well. Basically the media that you receive through iMessage. Now what you can do about it is go to your settings and go right here into messages and go to keep messages and you will have here an option to choose to automatically delete them after 30 days or one year. Now one year will be a long time so go ahead and choose 30 days for that of course if you use iMessage a lot and you receive like a lot of data a lot of files through iMessage then I suggest you do that. Now another thing you should do is always check your browser they will take a lot of space of course with the history and the cached files and all that just make sure you go ahead and go to safari and right here you will find clear history and website data and you can do that with one click here or what you can do is tap on advanced and then go right here to website data and here we'll find a list of the websites that are taking more space on your device what you can do from here is of course just go ahead and delete any one of them that you want now of course most of us use safari but probably a lot of us will use other browsers as well like in this case i use google chrome quite a lot so make sure you go ahead and check out that as well you can clear the history and all the data directly from the settings of the app there are a lot of stuff on your device that will be downloaded automatically and you probably don't even have an idea about that and one of them that happened to me is actually podcasts so make sure you have the, the settings configured the right way go to your settings head on to podcasts and right here you will have the options so basically you have automatic downloads enabled when following you follow someone boom the episodes will be downloaded locally and then you have download when saving make sure you disable that as well now what you need to do is also go ahead and go back here to general go to iphone storage and make sure you go here to podcast and you will see here all the episodes that you have downloaded locally to your device and make sure of course you go ahead and delete those if you have like cellular data you have wi-fi all the time you don't need those to be downloaded locally on your device now the same thing will basically happen with music as well so if you go to your music settings you will have here the automatic downloads make sure you go ahead and disable that that will basically download every music automatically download it locally to your device when you purchase them through the itunes store and then you will also have here the downloaded music if you just see a lot of songs here and you don't want to have them on your device then you can go ahead and easily download them actually delete them from here now last but not least a very important thing is of course apps apps will also take a ton of space so what i suggest you do is go ahead and head on to the app store settings and make sure you always have enabled a float unused apps what this does automatically deletes apps that you don't use for a long time but still saves their data so anytime you need them they will be automatically re basically reinstalled on your device but you will also have all the data there without having lost anything 
So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are some tips and tricks that will help you to always have free space on your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.